Hey folks, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I had some questions around exogenous ketones and their efficacy in this whole ketogenic low-carb diet thing. Uh, my short, snarky answer as to whether or not exogenous ketones are a good idea would depend on whether or not I'm selling them. And generally that is a pretty powerful influence as to how uh, uh, you know magical these things are versus not. And that's being a little bit of a jerk, but uh, what are exogenous ketones and I kind of break them down in a little bit of an ordered fashion. MCTs can can kind of fit in that exogenous ketone story in that they are a, a medium chain triglyceride. They really cannot be stored effectively and so they make their way to the liver. They get directly converted into uh, ketones. Um, you tend to get more of a conversion with the C8 varieties of the MCT so you'll see some some uh, certain varieties that are uh, kind of ultra purified for the C8 form versus like the, the mixed forms that include uh, C10, C12. These are the, the carbon chain links for these fats. And this is a, a pretty slick way to, to goose ketone levels. If you had somebody that was at, um, I'd say zero as a baseline, like they effectively had no, no uh, measurable ketone bodies, uh, doing a decent whack of MCT oil could boost them to maybe like a 0 0.3, possibly a 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is kind of a millimolar. Um, that would be a, a stretch, but you can get into a, a appreciable degree of, of uh, ketosis. But again, this is from adding excess calories or, or at least outside calories, outside fat. So that, that's a thing to keep in mind and be kind of a, a theme here. So the next layer of the exogenous ketone story would be ketone salts. And these are typically beta hydroxybutyrate associated with um, different uh, uh, mineral salts, uh, usually a mixture of calcium, magnesium, uh, sometimes potassium, but also sodium. Like it's, it's typically calcium, magnesium. You mix up a dose of this, shoot it down, um, the salts dissociate, the beta hydroxybutyrate goes into your system, and you can again get a, a, a reasonable boost in ketone levels. Uh, the, the real like kind of uh, big guns for exogenous ketones uh, would include the ketone esters. This is where they take different ketone bodies or ketone body precursors, esterify them together, almost like making a, a triglyceride where you've got a glycerol backbone and then three fatty acids. This is one of the, the kind of similar ways that they can esterify uh, these, these um, ketone bodies and provide a, a way to get them into the system. They taste pretty gnarly, like people equate them to jet fuel or kerosene or something like that. They are incredibly powerful. They can boost ketones up into the uh, uh, nearly starvation ketone level, like uh, uh, normal dietary ketosis. You'd, you'd think, you know, something around like 0.5 to 1.5 when we start getting into longer term fasting a ketogenic state, maybe 0.3 up to about 0.6. You can get up around 0.6, point, or, or excuse me, not 0.6, 6 molar, millimolar, 7 millimolar with the, uh, the ketone esters. So they're very powerful. All of these things are fantastic tools, but like any tool, you've got the right, the right tool for the right job. If your primary goal is fat loss, all of these things are just introducing fat, or, or not necessarily fat, but calories from the outside. All of them have a caloric load. All of them count with regards to calories. So you need to think about how you're gonna use these things. Now, generally I would recommend that you eat a, a nutrient-dense, adequate protein, um, you know, properly formulated ketogenic diet. Now, in the case of the MCT oil, there is some uh, research that suggests that you take a basic meal, and this has, has uh, had some decent research done, take your basic meal, substitute some of the caloric content for MCT oil, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half, and you consume that meal, and the combination of both the, the low glycemic load carbs and the MCT oil and that, that uptick in, in uh, ketones from that meal seems to reduce the total number of calories that folks eat later in the day. So there's arguments for using this stuff. Um, uh, if you are early in the, the ketogenic scene, um, I could maybe make an argument for using a little bit of MCT oil, a little bit of uh, the ketone salts. 
to help just kind of get you over the hump. Although I would say that getting your electrolytes on point helps far more and is far more important and people make a mistake on that far more often. So uh, I will do a, a, a video on how to properly tackle electrolytes here in a bit. But you know, the, the exogenous ketone topic is, is an interesting one for me because and, and I'm, I'm, I'm all for commercializing things that are effective. I'm not one of these like anti, you know, make money off of stuff. But it, it, that said, um, people spin a pretty good yarn about this stuff and they, they sell them in a, a way and create a narr narrative around them that really isn't honest and isn't telling a, a full story. And so these exogenous ketones have great therapeutic potential. I think for things like traumatic brain injury and different specific medical conditions, they could be just an absolute godsend. They might be effective in helping with a fat loss protocol also, but you have to be really selective with them. And honestly, maybe this is just my caveman approach to it. I would prefer if people just focus on a properly formulated ketogenic diet, like what you would get out of the keto masterclass, like what you get from keto gains, focus on your electrolytes, make sleep, your, your priority, like, like, you know, you, you would kill someone to get, to get the type of sleep that you need. And these things are going to deliver the goods in a way that uh, no supplement can ever do. So I hope that helps to clarify a little bit about, uh, you know, this exogenous ketone topic. Please send me your questions. You can track me down on Instagram at Das Rob Wolf. Uh, you can go to robwolf.com, hit me at the contacts page, fire off your questions. I'm always here to help.